everybody welcome to my channel Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a triple crochet so continue watching to learn how to do a triple crochet also if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel like follow and comment thanks this is how to make a triple crochet first thing you do is make a slip knot and if you want to know how to make a slip knot, um, I will link that video um, in this description below. And then you make your chain stitch. And also I have a video on how to make a chain stitch, so I'll link that in the description below also. And here I'm making a chain of 13. What I want to end up with is I want to end up with 10 triple crochets. So I make a chain of 13. Here I'm at the end of my row, so I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to start my triple crochet in that fourth stitch right there. So I yarn over once, I yarn over twice. Now I'm going to put my hook into that fourth chain stitch right there. And then I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop. Now I yarn over, oh, now you have one, two, three, four loops on your hook. You yarn over and you pull through two. Now you have three. One, two, three, and yarn over. You pull through two. Then you have one, two. Then you yarn over and pull through the remaining two. So then you do the process again. Yarn over twice. You put your hook through the next chain. You yarn over and then you pull through. Now you have four, one, two, three, four loops on your hook. You yarn over, you pull through two. You have one, two, three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Then you have two, then you yarn over and pull through the remaining two. Now you're going to repeat this process all the way down your chain here. So this makes a higher stitch than what a double crochet or even a um, half double crochet will make and again you just repeat this process it's really good to count your stitches so I know that I want 10 so I just count when I've got to 10 and that's how I know one way to know when to stop you stop when you get to your obviously your slip knot but Sometimes that slip knot can loosen up a little bit, so it's good to count your stitches. Also, one thing that you can do if you really don't like to count your stitches, although I do recommend counting them, is to put a stitch marker at your first stitch. That way you know exactly where to end at. And again, you just repeat that process all the way down. Now here I'm at my last stitch. I'm going to do the same exact thing and there's my slip knot right there. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And that right there is my turning chain. So I have one, two, three chains. And where I'm going to work is I'm going to work in that first stitch right there. So that first triple crochet is what I'm going to work into. Same process. Yarn over twice and start my hook through that first stitch right there, pull up a loop, and one, two, three, four, I pull through two, pull through two, then I pull through two. Same thing, yarn over twice, now I insert my hook in that next stitch, I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then I'm going to pull through two, I pull through two, and then I pull through two. And this I'm going to repeat all the way down. Now, if you wanted to, that last stitch that you actually made, you could have put a stitch marker in that stitch so it knows you, so you can tell where to end at. But also, you can just count and that will help you know where to end at. But if you can't see the stitches, sometimes you have a hard time seeing where the stitches are, especially if you're using a smaller hook size then it's really helpful to put a stitch marker there because it can be hard to see sometimes, especially if you haven't done this very often. And again, I'm just going all the way down. And 
here, I'm almost at the last stitch and I'll show you what that looks like. So here is that last stitch I'm going to work into right there. And then you have your chain. So you have your one, two, your three chains up. And then you have that last stitch. And you're going to work into that last stitch. Some people say to actually work into that space that's right there. But that, if you work into that, it gives it a kind of a weird hole. And I just don't like the way that looks. So I always just work into that last chain right there. And I do the same exact process as I did before. And then you're going to do the same thing when you turn. So here's what it looks like. It looks, you know, it is a bigger stitch. It's a tall stitch. So same thing. Chain three, one, two, three. Then you turn. And you're going to work into that first stitch right there. And you just repeat that process all over again. And here you have how to do a triple crochet. Thanks for watching my video on how to do a triple crochet. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Also, um, this fabulous, fabulous hat pattern is from the Twisted Hatter. It's the Twisted Mushroom Pattern. I'll leave a link to her website in the description below. Also, follow me on social media, TikTok, Instagram. I'll leave those links below. And if you want to see what all I have in my Etsy shop and other things I do, I'll leave that link below too. Um, if you want to find out what kind of crochet hooks that I use, um, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link below for that. I'll show you what I started out with, which is pretty basic, and then what I use now. Both are very economically priced. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.